All right. Welcome, everyone, to day 10. We have made it to another milestone. I'm a complete novice, beginning to take the guitar more serious and seeing how comfortable I could get if I actually put in 100 consecutive days of practice for at least an hour a day. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please do so. Uh, so that way you can watch my journey and see the struggles. If uh, you too are you know, truly a complete beginner with absolutely zero previous or childhood experiences. So please leave, leave a thumbs up on the video and also leave a comment to get the community talking. I'll be sure to uh, respond to everybody uh, just for simply being involved. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's get into some practice drills. Since this is live and just raw footage, let's just get right into some practice drills. Learned a power chord the other day. So let's practice that. Some some blues power chord. Give this uh, G a little flick. That sounds nice. Um, it's subtle, but that's cool. feet suspended off the ground it doesn't support the guitar very well uh, if I'm sitting down I might as well be supporting the guitar if I'm not gonna be supporting it I might as well stand up and walk around so let me try to put my foot up on something maybe that'll help Thank you. 
Ah, stop doing that. You get on the top string. Top string. Now let's alter that slightly. Still this uh these blues blues chords, but we're gonna step it step it down a string. And we're gonna add another layer, but it's very similar. Thank you. 
that little that little flick actually puts a nice little flare into the song, into the strum. that just a little while longer that flick that flick can be kind of difficult I don't like this stool, this chair that I sit in. It doesn't support my arm at all or the guitar very well. All right, I like, 
I just now discovered earlier I was switching it up and I was using my middle finger to do the um, bending on the string. I just now, at least with this structure in this scenario, using my ring finger is more controlled. So it sounds better. So if I just switch my fingers. Hear the bend. It's a controlled bend. Let's move on from that. It's a good little 15, 20 minutes of those two little um, power chord practices. So, so that's good. Getting some power chord practicing in. It's a lot to practice. Yeah, regular chords and power chords and sliding chords and just takes a bit. So. Now let's uh, step back. Just wanted to start today's video um, with uh, something a little, a little different uh, than what I've been doing. Just walking, you know, scales and playing the standard um, A through G chords, major and minors. Uh, wanted to switch it up with that little power chord that I recently learned from the uh, Musician app uh, that I use. Um, I just use the free version, so it's only like ten or fifteen minutes. Um, not that long, so I usually do that off uh, off camera. Every now and then I might do it on camera, but yeah, those power chords is something I learned um, off camera on that. So I wanted to bring that into my practice sessions uh, and start getting some repetition in for that as well. So, but now let's take a take a step back and uh, just do some fundamentals uh, to practice some chord shapes. Go A through G in order.
now let's practice the uh, the minors, A through G minors. hair it tickles and itches and scratches my face I'm still not used to it uh, had this real 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 small child had a little rat tail <laughs> I don't know why I'm admitting some of this stuff on camera <laughs> and then uh, didn't have long hair at all until uh, a couple years ago um, actually right before COVID yeah um, late, late, late 2019, I got my hair cut and then early 2020 COVID happened. So I was like, Hey, I can't go to a barbershop and get a cut. I'll just let it grow. And turns out I look good and handsome, no matter what type of hairstyle I have. <laughs> G minor chord has a muffled string in it. I think when it's going over one of the uh, little bends in the finger there, it's getting caught in one of those valleys, so it's not actually getting pressed down as hard. I'll need to make some adjustments. Sometimes it's good to uh, not pluck the whole chord as a chord pluck each string individually so that way you can understand if something is getting muffled.
See, that don't sound very good. With my string three. I see the lines on my finger. <laughs> I'm trying to press it. <laughs> it's a bar, right? So it should be just lay your finger on there. But it's fine tuning how you lay your finger. You know, what side of that finger? Flat on the side, 45 degrees. A little further up, a little further down, you know, where can you get it so that way everything's being fretted? You can see it, it's already. Much better. times playing these bar chords man it really uh takes a lot of pressure and hurts hurts my finger joints <laughs> from pressing so hard on the neck all right let's uh Decent couple, 
couple chords there strung together without looking. Means my muscle memory is getting better. Again, you got to find these small wins. And be proud of yourself. Be happy. Notice the growth. Don't worry about how far there is to go, right? Because there's forever to go, right? <laughs> you might learn 37 songs. You might learn 437 songs. You might learn 4,000 songs. But guess how many songs there are out there? You can't learn it all, right? And that's in any aspect of life. So there is no destination. I, I love that by Russ. There is no destination. So enjoy the journey. Find those small wins. Smile. Be proud of yourself. Be happy that you're improving. Some people don't even take the first step to try to improve, you know? So if you're out there trying to get better every day, you're already, you know, further ahead than most. So keep trying, keep exploring, stay curious, keep practicing at the things that you want to get good at. But I know with life, time is hard to come by. It's our in my, my opinion, our most important commodity. So I understand it's hard with, you know, the responsibilities of life and school and work and kids and family and partners and relationships um, and staying in contact with friends and, you know, hobbies. And it's hard. It is. It's hard to find the time to get everything you want to do in, in a day right? You can't improve in every single category every single day. There's just not enough time. That's why it really comes down to just time management, really, at the end of the day. There's already enough, not enough time in a day, right? So when time is already hard to come by and you know maybe you didn't get get that hour of practice in that day because of x y and z well understandable <laughs> uh just being devil's advocate here and playing hard hard guy hardball though how, how long did you spend you know scrolling through social media how long did you spend just nonchalantly you know, lollygagging, getting from point A to point B. It's inefficient, you know, wasting time. Or just thinking about what you're going to do next, you know, instead of just going and doing it. Or I know, for example, just in my own personal life, I get it. I'm very OCD. So if things aren't picked up in my space, I can't like function to even play the guitar. I can't function to write my essay, you know, for school or whatever it might be if, you know, the house is cluttered. So a lot of times I'll spend my valuable time cleaning up, which is important, sure. But then what are you not doing? You're not holding the guitar. You're not strumming the guitar because you're doing dishes, you know? So I get it. That's why the time is so valuable. Spend it wisely. Don't spend hours a day scrolling through social media. Don't spend hours a day just watching Netflix, watching Hulu, watching random YouTube videos if they're not educating you and helping you.
trying to do research basically and understand what's going on with this finger in this bar and how high or you know low do I need to be when I'm actually placing the bar because I've noticed sometimes when I'm playing like I'm in earlier That third string doesn't sound too bad, um, but there's a lot of times where I'm 
when I'm quickly transitioning into a bar chord, I'll notice that, you know, something's not quite ringing right. And as I play each string individually, I notice that typically it's the third string that's muffled. So it's going somewhere right in here. So it seems like my fingers quite a bit past. It's not like in line and flush with the top. Let's see if I can get that in there. It's not flush. It's more like here. 